Hello, dear viewers. We are at the construction site, where the construction of the Sovelmash Design and Engineering Technology Department is in full swing. We have already made a huge number of videos that show and demonstrate what work is being done, how it all happens, and in what order. Today, we will shoot the traditional overview of the construction site and show what has changed on it. Behind my back, you can observe the foundations, on which the metal frame of the office and amenity building, O and A, will be mounted. Nearby, we can see that the metal structures from the testing and production areas come close to the O and A. Next, you can see the fire break, the casting process of two new foundations. And here a lot of people might ask, why are they doing it now? But in fact, everything is proceeding according to the plan. Heavy construction equipment used to work at this very place. There were cranes. Now this site is being prepared, there is a rearrangement of heavy construction equipment, and accordingly this work has also begun. Let's get started, move to another angle, and talk more about the fire break, and show you graphically where the boundary of the O and A and the production area is. Let's go! We've moved to the fire break line. The assembly is in full swing, the concrete has already been poured, the formwork has not yet been dismantled, this is yet to be implemented. And the wall will be extended till the end of the O and A building accordingly. Land works are currently being carried out there, the place is being cleared, and further work will also be done. Also from this position, you can very well and clearly see how much work has been done and how much remains to be done. To my left, you can see a huge number of cast foundations, which are impressive in size. And the O and A will not be small, but rather large. But if you compare it with what was done before, please note that it is considerably smaller in size, but it meets the requirements that are applicable for it. Also, you can see that there are literally two axes left to close the testing and production part, and then the builders will deal directly with the O and A. All the required preparatory work is being done for that, involving both the foundations and the fire break, the necessary metal structures are being delivered that will also be mounted by our cranes, and all this will be completed within the established objectives and schedule. Once we told you that we have a Chiburashka, and this building is actually a Chiburashka. It had two ears, one-story extensions that actually provide all the necessary capacities. The engineering utilities are being connected from there, there will be transformers, gas equipment, gas distribution systems, climate control equipment, and so on. But in fact, our Chaburashka turns out to be not so simple. It has not two, but four ears. And now to my right, another ear is being mounted on this side, and the preparations are being made to mount the fourth ear on the other side of the testing and production area. Let's go inside the building and take a look at the elements that used to be outside the building, but now they are deep under the metal frame. Let's go! Please note that our building has grown so much, that our neighbor, namely the Sberbank data center, is no longer visible behind our Chaburashka. Inside the building the atmosphere is completely different, and we are lucky enough to get in at the beginning of lunch time. Most of the employees are already on their way to have a meal, and it's pretty quiet here. Please note that we are under the roof formed by the second floor ceiling. It is expanding around the perimeter of all the metal structures. And soon they will all be closed, and the builders 
we'll start assembling the roof. I think it will be a very good sight, and we will be able to show you something from above that will be in our next videos. We showed you the staircases, elevator shafts to my right now, the guys will show you, they were outside the metal structures, and now they are deep inside the building. Also, please pay your attention to what is happening to them. The concrete work is being done, the formwork is being installed, there are cranes to install this formwork. Then concrete is poured with a bucket, and they grow actually up to the roof, where the necessary equipment will be located. The elevator shafts have already been put to their place. I think that every day they will be used by the employees who will work in these parts of the building. The necessary elevator equipment will also be located on the roof. Some of the staircases will have access to the roof in order to carry out the necessary work and maintenance. You never know who and why needs to visit the roof, so it will be very convenient. And we have reached the warehouse part. That is to pass through this building directly. Well, there are no interfloor ceilings and no rooms. It is one empty hangar. You need to spend a certain amount of time. And there is a lot of space here too. If all this is equipped directly on the side, I think it is easy to imagine how much time it will take to pass from the O and A building to the warehouse part. That is, the space really inspires respect and confidence in what will take place here. In addition, a huge amount of work is carried out related to layer by layer compaction of the soil, welding, reinforcement work. I mean, every day a huge amount of work is done, including installation. So, there is nothing more to share with you to date. There is nothing here. The work is routine and daily. And despite the fact that it is of the same kind, control over the quality of work is very scrupulous and meticulous. Because the further opportunity to work in the building, past the State Commission examination, and much more will depend on this quality. Carefully monitor the news on our channels. We will tell you about the construction progress and not only. Subscribe, leave comments and ask your questions. Maybe you're interested in something specific related to the construction. We will try to answer your questions. See you again!